What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we have another vlog kind of starting off a bit abrupt, went to this house and YouTube event with Meg and then we ended up forwarding to Mural Festival, Meg had to stay at work but I went here with a few friends, enjoyed an ASAP Fur concert, I haven't seen him perform since like 2012 so it was really nice to just bask in that and really enjoy the festivities of Mural Festival quite loaded festivities before heading on a big trip this is my first ever paris fashion week so <laughs> Apologies ahead of time for all the clip dumping and inconsistencies in this vlog. Honestly, Paris Fashion Week's pace is just really intense and hard to handle. So I did what I could. I caught and captured whatever I could for you guys. So I just wanted to apologize ahead of time, but I hope you guys enjoy this video nonetheless. So this was the next day. I had a photo shoot that I had to do with Boris that I modeled for. And then after that, we ended up going to this photography gallery by Stills, who is a Polaroid photographer. Super incredible work, lots of familiar faces that were captured. Uh, it was sponsored by Heineken, I believe. So just like a lot of people popped out. Uh, it was beautiful to see and uh, just really nice vibes overall. Um, after that, we went and went and ate at this very well-known cafe called Charlot, highly recommend. And after that, there was this murder pop-up that's Bloody Osiris's brand, which was also very nice to see good energy there. Let's do, let's do the things that people think that I wouldn't do. Those yeah, kind of the things. Yeah, that, that, that's why you know you could grow. Mm -hmm. That's why I use a lot of like navies for those people who follow me. Like they know I hate navies. Yeah, <laughs> but I think it's good to challenge yourself yeah. though so to play with things that you don't enjoy. Season and like non crop silhouettes, oversized, and then move into tailoring as well. Um, obviously, the things that I do well as well as included. So mm -hmm. I think I'm really like happy with this production. Do you do manufacturing yeah. software too? We do, and then I have a, we do it in my studio as well because uh, I built the built the system in the studio. Nice. Basically, nice. Yeah. So basically, for the first year or two of the drops that I made, mm -hmm. I just put that all the money and just built a mini manufacturing in my yeah. studio. Yeah. Just to like pump out things yeah. quickly. Yeah. So now yeah. everything comes out. Um, that's why I like the samples. Yeah. Really, really. All the Kitsugi shirts. Mm -hmm. Kitsugi is like this Japanese pottery fixing technique. Yeah. I'll show you the reference photo. What do you mean you never wear shirts? Like long shirts? Mm -hmm. I don't really. <laughs> because it has no shoulders. Now, this was one of the most surreal moments of all the Paris Fashion Week just because. As a young person, I never thought I'd ever be here in this position, getting invited to fashion shows. I know Rude isn't held to the highest standard in terms of my community of fashion, but I respect Ruigi for everything that he's done in the community, even given the recent controversy. But it's just one of those brands that I remember growing up through Tumblr and everything like that, and the bandana tees, etc., to see him blossom into this brand and even me being able to get invited to this it's like like a dream come true i would never fathom a day in my life ever getting invited to any fashion show so i was just extremely grateful to be in this moment so you guys we're here at the Reed show it's my first ever parisian runway show that i've ever seen here with kish on the camera mm. megs is over there it's beautiful it's very tranquil i feel like uh, i'm in a beautiful garden right now 
Yep. A lot of nice people, scenery. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like after the runs. I really respect what you do. I want to say, like, without a lot of people doing YouTube and stuff, like, there wouldn't be a lot of black people doing it. So I just want to say, yo, who's yeah, yeah. yeah. really doing that, bro? Especially in fashion, you got to keep going with that. Yeah, yeah. Keep going with that. So, yeah. Really nice meeting you, bro. I'll go with it. It's crazy how much the lights flicker in Europe because it's a different like frequency on camera. Yet another beautiful experience to go through. This was the Trois Paradis show that I also got invited to. But this one was very special just because Amrik, who is the creative director of Trois Paradis, is originally from Paris. But I believe he moved to Montreal. And now he went back to Paris to do his first show. And now to be on calendar and do shows is just like a mind-blowing thing. And not many people get to reach yeah. that point in fashion so i just had to really like just bask in that moment and really like give him these flowers because like it's just incredible to see and to also be there with like, a bunch of people from montreal like drew and young troy and high classify all these people that are montreal are, like natives and a part of that community was just really special and uh, i was just grateful to be a part of it and happy that emmerich was able to have the turnout that he did because there was a lot of people and it was a beautiful show. So I was just very grateful to be in the space and to be invited to yet another show, so. Okay. Yeah. Biggie, biggie.
anchovy, I think. Is that no one anchovies? Yeah. No. I don't know. Is that orange? Yo, put a stick in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's I knew I, I literally knew I couldn't find you. Yeah. Honestly, thank you guys all for, for your sitting nice things. Maybe. I don't think so. What's going on YouTube? Kyron. We here. We vlogging. We're doing what we can. Try to give you guys some context clips because this vlog is kind of sporadic, very sporadic at that. I didn't really get a whole lot of footage while I was in Paris. And the main reason for that is just because the pace for Fashion Week is uncanny. It's insane. Like, especially if you're like Montreal nightlife people or just people that come from a nightlife city, your focus and networking is based in the night and going to these fashion week after parties and all that end up falling asleep at like 6 a.m so you're just kind of recovering the next day and then that led me to like not link with like a lot of the people that i thought i was gonna link with unfortunately so like oscar and like ken and ray i was able to meet with them just because it was like always like bad timing or just a whole bunch of stuff so sorry if it's windy by the way but yeah, just giving you guys some context as to like what has been going on. This week is supposed to be very loaded, very exciting. Got the Drake concert. Yeah, so we got the Drake, it's all a blur concert. Meg and I are gonna go to that. Also have a natural wine event on Friday from Max's GGG Collective. So that's gonna be fun too. So we got a lot of cool stuff on the way. So. Enjoy. Try these. 
I just don't know if they're exactly my style. So I'm gonna try some other stuff. I'll let you know how I'm saying. Just got back from stepping out, went to Holt Renfrew to check out some of their sale. Honestly, not too many items that Jacob and I were interested in, but um, we actually went to Livestock for the first time. If you guys don't know, Livestock is a Canadian um, shop that just has like brands like Salomon, New Balance, Nike, Adidas, like all the, all the mainstay brands, but they have really good curation very reminiscent to like some of the shops that you'd see in New York, like a bodega or other things like that, you know? So this is my first time checking it out because I don't really frequent Tor Toronto so too often, but they just added one in Montreal. So it was the first time me checking it out. And then uh, Jacob and I just went to go see the scene and they had a really good selection. I was like filming it before. I'm sure you guys seen it in the previous clips, but um, I didn't get any clothing, but they had some good like apothecary and home goods. And then we ended up going to this like micro brewery type ordeal. So I'm gonna show you guys the, the slight little pickups from there. So first from livestock, I'm gonna get into this. Got this little Sneeze magazine. If you guys don't know, Sneeze is probably one of my favorite publications just because very innovative um, for them to have like a magazine that's not bounded together. So you can actually use posters, whatever they have you. Uh, I just thought it was a cool concept and I've seen it from like some of the early issues to where they are now. It's really cool. And I got the Yachty edition just because support Yachty is probably one of the best, better just rappers, if not one of like top 10, maybe something like that. Um, so yeah, I had to go support that real quick. That's the 56th edition of um, 
sneeze. And then we also got this slight little diffuser action. It's really nice. Diffusers are always good. If you guys have never used them, they kind of have these like sticks that are porous and then they soak up the essential oils that are in the vial and then it just like diffuses amongst your home, makes it really smell nice. I've showed it on the channel before. I have one from Rita, uh, which is water spelt backwards. If you guys have never checked out that brand on Essence and stuff like that, I'll leave some in the description box below. But they had this one from this new brand um, and I was curious to check it out. The smell was just fantastic. It's sandalwood and rose, which is like an odd pairing, but I really enjoyed it. And then lastly, they had the same thing sandalwood and rose but from here sick so really liked this offering very very solid and yeah great pickups from livestock and then from the microbrewery it was called bodega if you guys are in montreal this bag is <laughs> rinsed but uh bodega um they had a good selection of like natural wine and like beers i'm not like a big like artisanal beer guy but i've been trying to find ones that i'm interested in so i picked up two just to get experimental try some new stuff but you guys know I'm big into natural wine so like it's probably a good overlap or whatever but got this one because we got that ggg event that we have to go to on friday and i wanted something that i could have to enjoy for the event and the man at bodega was telling me that this was a very solid option uh the producer was just very knowledgeable in like the soil development and like the minerals that go into the land or the vineyard so a person that just cares in all aspects of their producing of the wine is just like i'm sure that makes for a very good end result and then this one is the compound of this for the breakdown it's a pinot noir 40 percent gamay 40 percent cabernet the rest so that's a solid breakdown for you guys. Just a really nice color, very juicy. This is exactly what I look for in like a, a red of sorts, like very juicy, opaque, but not too dense, like that you can't see it through. So this is exactly what I look for, like for it to look like juice. If you guys are looking for a natural wine, go for that normally, or like a, a nice orange. So yeah. And then these, what do you get from the microbrew? It was from this brand. Uh, never, I'm not big into beer, so I couldn't tell you, but this was what we went for. We got a little amber situation, and then we got a little blanc, blanc situation. So yeah, we're gonna try those out. I don't know what I'm gonna go for first, but we're gonna do a little editing session, so I'm probably gonna crack one of those beers. Get to editing this video, and that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy. Sorry for the mess in the background. I'm going under maintenance in my apartment, apartment, which is annoying, but we're gonna get straight to it. Keep this vlog going. What are you what are you most excited about for the evening? Street interviews. This with is so silly, but the the graphics of like the stage because I've seen a lot of TikToks where it looks really cool. So like kind of like the hologram, the like design the stage, the stage, the and like design. the holograms that he's doing or whatever. I'm upset that 21 is not here because I wanted to see peaches and eggplants on the the. Did you see that animation? It was a peach and an eggplant going crazy. Ew. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds like really stupid. <laughs> it was stupid. Is you ready to have a good time? Let me hear you say, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, bro. It's like, it'd be all right. It's one. I woke up today, I had a little bit of time. 
before I came to the show. You know, I put this show together. It was a moment in my life where, you know, I, I made a decision to do something. And a lot of times, I sit around, I wonder if that decision impacted my life. And even if this is a dream, I'll tell you, this is the greatest fucking dream anybody could ever have. Because I love this man. But I did have a funny memory today. I remember like, the first time me and my boys, we ever thought about getting drunk. We uh, we hopped in a car. We drove to Montreal, right? And we ended up on Route, Route Crescent. And I walked down these stairs into a place called Ziggy's Pub and I had my first drink ever. Unfortunately, I haven't stopped drinking since, but it's all good. Man. I say that to say, look, we have a lot of memories together. When I go everywhere across this whole world, I hope you see it in my eyes. I hope you see it in my actions, that I represent each and every one of you. We are one and the same. We're Canadians, we love each other, that's just how we get down. So tonight, instead of turning up right away, since we've been at this for so long, first and foremost, I'm going to take my jacket off early. And second, what I want to know is, can we put the turn up on hold for like 15 minutes while I take you way back in the day? And see, see if this is the Montreal that I really think it is. I'm going to play you a song, we'll find out. Let's go. Unfortunately, but I'm 
definitely going out tonight. I'm definitely getting fucked up tonight. I love Montreal. I'm always, I'm always on deck for you. Right now, this is my DJ, Future the Prince, also my best friend, my brother. We are about to turn the Bell Center into a club. So if you are with your friends, with the people that you love, or with the people that you just met, that you might grow to love, I want you to dance, I want you to enjoy yourself, put your arm around somebody, enjoy this moment. We're alive, we gotta be great, great, great. Cheers to Montreal. Appreciation for 
somebody who inspired this tour, who inspired a lot of uh, a lot of things in my life, somebody who I had a great privilege of meeting. And, you know, in, in the world, sometimes you meet people, and it's a ripple effect. They introduce you to other people that end up changing your life. And this is definitely one of those guys that did that. So please, if you could just take a moment and show some appreciation for my dear brother, Virgil Abloh, one time. God rest his soul. Oh, yeah. Dang. 21 needs to bring his ass back on tour. I'm tired as fuck. I want you to spend some time with your family. Let me know that you hear me and that you're gonna do it for me this summer. Spend some time with your family. Call your people, tell them you love them, tell them you're thinking about them. Encourage them, support them. It's important, you gotta surround yourself with a solid group. That's the only way you can make it happen for yourself. Whatever it is you want to do in life, I promise you, you cannot do it on your own. No matter how much bullshit I rap about, me, 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 I would not be here without my friends and my family. So spend some time with your family this summer. I got an album coming out for you. I'm going to be talking a lot of shit on that motherfucker. Don't judge me. It's called For All The Dogs. And like I said, anywhere I go in this world, anywhere they let these ten toes touch, I represent Toronto, I represent Montreal, I represent us. Y'all get home safe. I love you from the bottom of my heart. My name is Drake. I'm just a kid from Canada that the whole world cares about. I don't know how and I don't know why, but I wouldn't be that shit without you. Get home safe. I 